2005, the Glazer family took a controlling stake in Manchester United Football Club, acquiring around 98% of shares. Some fans strongly opposed the takeover, which would see a club that had been virtually debt-free for many years move quickly and sharply into the red. It was the final twist of the knife for many of United's long-serving supporters who had become disillusioned by life with the club and at how modern football in general is run. I think FC United has captured the imagination of, of, of supporters not just at this club but, but elsewhere in the country as well because we are trying to do something about a problem that everybody recognises. Since their 2005 inception, FC United can count three consecutive league promotions and three successive playoff final appearances to its name. The one thing that we have set up is, is possibly one of the most professional non-league football clubs that you're ever going to uh, witness. You know, we have three physios, the nutritionist, the dietitian, all to support the players. And I think they really, really appreciate that and respect that. They're currently plying their trade in the Northern Premier League division and showing no signs of halting their rapid ascendance through English football's hierarchy just yet. We think this is a model that is yet to find its voice. It's still the early days in this country of supporter ownership, but it's a growing movement. And uh, those who run the game at the top, they better look over their shoulders because the supporter ownership movement is on the march. Construction on a new 5,000-seater stadium begins this month, funded mainly by supporters, and it's due to open at the beginning of next season. It will see the club finally move out of Gig Lane, the ground they currently share with Berry, and into their very own home. We've been overwhelmed by the level of support that we've had. We've also seen the number of supporter-owned football clubs increase. To now be sitting here on the verge of being able to start the build on our own ground has just blown everybody away. And although the team has stalled in the current division they're in after a rampant first three years, they have eyes set firmly on promotion to the Conference North this season, which would put them just two divisions below the Football League. There's going to be a lot of decisions that are going to have to be made and, you know, as we get closer to Football Conference, Football League, there's been decisions that people have made that have, have shaped uh, why they've come and watched FC United. Off the field, the foundations and morals on which the club were founded still ring loudly in the ears today. Our main club sponsor MX Data sponsor us and they don't have the name on the shirt because their reason for sponsoring us is to improve our impact in the community work that we do and the money they've put into the club has allowed us to keep ticket prices down, it's allowed us to also bring uh, education and work opportunities to layers of people in Manchester who otherwise wouldn't have, this, wouldn't have that opportunity if it wasn't for the work of our football club supported by the sponsors that we have. It all looks promising for FC United who appear to be reaping all the benefits of supporter ownership. But what do they see for the future? We will be where the supporters want us to be in five years' time and in ten years' time, but one thing I'll guarantee you, we'll always remain supporter-owned, one member, one vote.